Hi friends, I'm Ellie and welcome back to Tech3x channel. Today I want to show you how to move an entire row to the other sheet based on drop down list. Previously I showed you how to do this based on check boxes, but today you will learn it with drop down list. Okay, let's get started. Here I have worksheet with six sheets. In the task sheet, I have the task with different statuses. When I choose any of these statuses for the task, the entire row will move to the related sheet. For example, if I choose started for the status, the row will move to the started sheet. And when I finish the task, I can change the status to completed and it will move. Very well, you understand what I want to do? Let's create it. I type the task in the task sheet. And now I should make a drop down list for each task. On the data tab, data validation. If you don't know how to use this window, check the related video in the card and description. Okay, for criteria, list of items. And I type the status in this field and separate them by a comma. Unassigned, pending, accepted. Started, completed, and task. Reject input and save. As you can see, I have a drop down list with statuses. I use the Ctrl Shift down shortcut key to select all cells below and Ctrl D to duplicate the drop down list. Alright, I have this list for all the cells. Now I copy the header and paste it in all sheets. Now it's time for the main part, typing the codes. I go to the extensions tab, then app script. The app script page will open. Now I type the code, then explain it to you. Alright, this is the code. I use the unedit function so the script runs when a user changes a value in a spreadsheet. After that, for source and range, constant is used. Constants are like variables, except you cannot change their value after assigning one to them. Then, if a statement, the drop down list is in column 2. So, here for column start, I type 2. After that, the destination is defined. In the end, the row that moved to the destination will delete from the source. Alright, the code is finished. I save it and return to the sheet. You can find the link of this worksheet in the description. Make a copy of that and use it. Okay, let's test it. I choose a status. As you can see, the row is deleted and move to the related sheet. I test another one. Okay, my tutorial finished and you learn how to move an entire row to the other sheet based on drop down list with Epic Script. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe in case you're not subscribed yet. If you have any questions, share with me in the comments and I will answer all of them. This is the playlist of Google Sheets. Visit it, you will find valuable videos. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good time.